Thank you so much for watching the Press Avenue YouTube channel. My name is John, and I like to talk about WordPress tutorials to better help you use WordPress itself. Today we got a question submitted, which is how do I create a child theme? And I'm going to walk you through how to do just that. Our website's pressavenue.com, and we've been asked quite a few times how people can support us. And we signed up for a buy me a coffee um, website similar to Patreon, just a little simpler. Um, so if you do want to support us, that's one way to do it. Another way to do it is to give this video a thumbs up if it's helpful and hit the subscribe button if you want to see more WordPress tutorials. So I've created a demo site. It's got nothing on it. I uh, just put it together yesterday, or today I should say, and um, it's running locally on my machine. The only thing I've installed on here is Elementor, and under Appearance is the stock themes. So I'm going to walk you through how to easily create a child theme, but first we're going to get a theme that I really like using with Elementor, and it's the Hello theme. So I'll go up here and I'll type Hello. It used to be number one, and now there's this Hello Fashion by someone else. But Hello Elementor um, is the one I'm going to install and activate. So a big reason for installing a child theme is if you add custom CSS styling into this theme and the theme updates, all that code or extras has been wiped away. So you might be saying, well, I don't add styling. Um, maybe you just grab a snippet off a website like ours to change a header or a footer or something else. Um, again, that would be wiped away if you don't have a child theme. And the child theme inherits all the styling from the parent theme. So then you just add code to um, manipulate that or change it as needed. So I always create a child theme no matter what I'm doing. Um, and we'll do it right now. So the easiest way to do it is to go to plugins, add new, search, and we'll go to child theme. And this one right here, it's kind of like a, it's like a moon with a, I, some people say it looks like a bird or an airplane shooting down, but it's the child theme configurator. So we're going to head and hit install, and then we're going to activate it. It's got 300,000 um, installs, which is pretty good. I've probably done it quite a few times uh, with it. So here we are. And to find this, we go to Tools and then Child Themes. And it gives us a ton of options. But first, number one, what do you want to do? I want to create a new child theme. And number two, select a parent theme. So it has all the themes here. You can do, you know, 2021, 2020, 2019. But well, we're going to do Hello Elementor, and we're going to click Analyze. So sometimes this goes fast, sometimes it goes slow. It just depends on the theme itself. But if we come down here, it says this theme appears OK to use as a child theme. And the theme loads additional styles after style.css. So typically, as a default, style.css is where all the styles are for most, most themes. As you can see, this one has theme.min.css, which has additional stuff. Then it says, consider saving new custom styles to a step separate style sheet. See step five below. All right, so step four, name the new theme. So usually I put in the client name or something else here. So I'll say press avenue child. So again, this is the folder itself. So if you go into FTP, um, you'll see whatever you name this as a folder with everything in it. So step five, primary style sheet, style.css. Separate style sheet, save new custom styles to a separate style sheet. Now, if you look up here, this says consider saving it as a separate style sheet. Um, if you don't have a theme that has an additional .css file, I would do it as the primary. If you do, I would do it as a separate. And then combine any existing child theme styles with the parent to form a baseline. Select this option if you want to preserve the existing child theme styles instead of overriding them. And then lastly, this option allows you to customize style sheets that load after the primary, which is fine, which is what we want. All right, six, parent um, theme style sheet handling. I usually just use the WordPress 
um, way of doing it. Um, import works as well. This is not recommended, um, but I have done it this way as well. And then advanced handling options. You can ignore the parent theme style sheets, which is not a reason why I ever use a child theme, so I don't use this one. But if you want to strip everything out, you can. And then by default, you can order the style sheets here. And then lastly, customize the child theme name, description, etc. So I always do this as well. So the description, call it whatever you want. Um, for clients, I sometimes put, you know, do not remove. Um, and then the author, I'll put myself. And then the theme website, um, I would put my website or wherever it is. Um, if you don't have a listing of themes, I would either do your website or a contact form. Um, and I put this in here and then theme description. I usually copy the title, say do not remove. And then if you have any questions, please contact, put your contact info. Um, the tags I leave alone, the version, again, you can leave alone or you can you know, say this is 1.0 or 2.0 or whatever. And then copy menus, widgets, and other items. I usually don't do this. Um, and then I click create. And then it analyzes it and it goes fairly fast. And we're done. So now if I go over here to appearance, I have the press avenue child do not remove things. So if I go to activate, it's now active. And then under theme editor, hey, heads up, I get it. If you see here, it has CTC separate style sheet, and then it says the name that I put in, etc. So it's all here, and then I can add my additional styling here, uh, which is really great. And then we can see the other style sheet here as well. And there's nothing in it because this um, theme itself is very simple. And the last step I do is I come back to plugins, I deactivate, and I get rid of this because there's no reason to have this plugin again. It really is a tool to get you in, get what you need, and get out. All right, so if you have any questions similar to this or uh, word that are WordPress related, go ahead and leave them in the comment section below. We have a Facebook group, facebook.com slash group slash Press Avenue, where you can ask questions as well, and I might just answer them via video. And again, go ahead and give this um, video a thumbs up if it was helpful, and subscribe if you want to see more WordPress tutorials like this. Thank you so much for watching.